Welcome back, my friends. Whatever time of day you're listening to this, it is still called the Morning Mindset (laughs) edition of the Liberal Change Podcast. It's because my goal, my hope, is that you will use this tool, this little five-minute audio that I record each day, to encourage yourself at the beginning of the day. So that's why I call it the Morning Mindset. I'm hopeful that you will find this useful, find this to be a good tool for yourself in encouraging yourself in the Lord and with the right mindset and approach to your day early in your day so that you can live the kind of day that you know you really need to. Now, lately, I've been looking at the life of Moses to draw out some observations and help for us in setting our minds right for each day. And yesterday, right at the tail end of the episode, we got to the section where Moses has discovered or encountered God out in the desert at a mountain called Horeb. And there's this bush that's burning and God speaks to Moses from inside the bush. And he warns Moses, he says, don't come near, take your sandals off your feet for the place on which you're standing is holy ground. I am the God of your father, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac and the God of Jacob. And Moses, rightly so, hid his face, for he was afraid to look at God. And I ask you right at the end of yesterday's episode, if you've truly pondered the reality and the significance of the reality, that you are not holy, though God is holy. Have you let the weight of that soak into your soul and pondered what that really means for you? as an individual. Moses' response here shows us how we are to respond, and I believe how we will respond if we encounter the living God in our sinful condition. Moses fell down on the ground. He hid his face. He was afraid to look at God because he recognized God is so much beyond us in terms of his purity. His holiness, he cannot bear our sin in a personal sense. And so, as we move toward God or desire to move toward God, we need some sort of remedy for that problem that we have, that we are sinners and God is holy. And we learn later on in the scriptures, in the New Testament, in the Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, and then on into the epistles of Paul and 1 Peter and 1st, 2nd, 3rd John, that God himself has provided the remedy. John 3, 16 says, God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son so that whoever believes in him should not perish but can have everlasting life. Should not perish but can have everlasting life. Do you see the significance of that? God in his mercy has provided the way for us to deal with our problem of sin that separates us from God. And in Moses' case, he's recognizing that sin and he's falling on his face. I want to ask you, have you ever fallen on your face before God and cried out to him in repentance because of the difference between him and you, you see his holiness and realize you are not. As John 3.16 promises, those who believe in Jesus Christ, who receive his death on the cross as payment for their sin, can now look on the face of God without fear. We can now come to him boldly to find grace and help in our time of need, the writer of Hebrews says. So if you have made that decision, if you have received that gift, I want to encourage you to rejoice in it anew today. And if you have not, would you do it today? Would you fall on your face before God and ask him for the gift of forgiveness? Let's talk more about Moses' story on tomorrow's Morning Mindset.